Uh, I'm Jeannie Fairley. I work at the Metro West Center for Independent Living. Well, I've taken several uh, technology courses here at the Carroll Center. My first was learning how to touch type, which is very important if you're going to be starting to use computers without um, a lot of vision. The last course I took, which was um, the best, was the Office Skills Program. That was a 12-week program which uh, prepared me uh, for uh, employment and it prepared me to be very, very uh, expert, I believe, in not only JAWS but in um, all of Microsoft Office products. I would be completely out of touch with reality if I did not have the excess technology that I use and that I learned here at the Carroll Center and everyone would be zipping right by me and I just can't imagine not um, being able to go home, turn on my laptop, do all my email, do all my uh, shopping online, I order groceries online, everything. Uh, you name it, I do it. My name is Carl Richardson. I'm the State House ADA Coordinator for the Bureau of State Office Building for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. My role here is to make the program services and activities here accessible to people of all different abilities, whether you're deaf or blind or mobility impaired. And it's fully accessible where I think if I wanted to take an online course, say, with a, another college or university, it wouldn't be fully accessible. So this is one of the few places that I know of where a blind and visually impaired person can go to to um, learn the skills they need to remain competitive in the workplace. My name is Kay Ann Rausch and I'm currently employed by the U.S. Department of Labor. I work as a workforce development assistant. Um, the Carroll Center has um, instructed me in the use of this kind of technology in conjunction with Microsoft Office. So specifically I took some coursework um, on handling Excel using ZoomText. So it's very specialized to, it's not just a course about Excel, it's a course about how to, how to use Excel as a low vision or a blind person, how to make use, how to make best use of all the capabilities of ZoomText, all the technologies out there now, it's just coming out fast and furious. There's so much of it. Well, you can have all the great technology in the world, but if you don't know how to use it, you can't figure out how to access the features of it or even even know what the features are a lot of times, um, then that's not going to be successful either. It's, it's, it's a partnership of the technology itself and the training that it takes to put that technology to use. 